Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Yasmin. I'm 23 and I'm a single mom to my three daughters, Layla, Anna, and Millie. If you can't tell, my voice is like gone. I've been sick for the last couple of days. I don't know what it is, but I've been like really exhausted and like so sick. I might have to go to the doctor. But I'm vlogging today anyways. On our new place, I wanted to like stock it with groceries and do like a clothing haul that I just, of like an order of clothes I just got. We just dropped logan off um at his place up in like where he lives which is like an hour and a half north of us because he w had been on like a road trip with some friends for a couple days and came back and got dropped off like down where we live he got dropped off there this morning and we just brought him back up here anna also had a dentist appointment this morning she got a cavity filled and she did so good she literally was listening so well to the dentist and was like did not even cry or move or anything. She did so good, right, Anna? Mm -hmm. High five. Uh, mama, mm -hmm. I left my leg. A little bit. Just a little bit. You did so good and you were just sitting so for the dentist and listening. You did so good. Yeah, so we're about to drive back down home. So we've got like an hour and a half drive ahead of us. I was gonna grocery shop up here because there's some other options. There's like a Trader Joe's and like a Wegmans and stuff, which we don't have down where we live, but I'm honestly just like sick and exhausted and I kinda just wanna go back home and then just grocery shop at our neighborhood grocery store because it just feels a lot easier right now. Gonna do that, stock up the house with groceries and then clean up at the Airbnb a little bit because I had some friends there this weekend for St. Patrick's Day weekend. Um, what's up, girl? No, project. Oh yeah, okay. But Anna, can we go to Walmart instead? Okay. Um, yeah, that was the other thing. There's also a Target up here. But I just like want to get back home. But Millie is down with my grandma and Layla's in school, obviously. Yeah, about to head back down home. We'll see you there. We made it. It was a long drive. How was your cavity, Anna? <laughs> <laughs> Anna, I'm so good on the drive too. Wanna go and say hi to Nikki? I'll let you out. Okay, okay go say hi and tell them all about your camera. I'll be right in. We just got back to my house. Um, not to my new condo, my old house. Um, <laughs> she just walked up. The house to my friend Nikki. Like I said, I still have people renting here. We're just stopping here to grab some stuff. But before we get further into this video, today's vlog is sponsored by BetterHelp again. So I've been working with them a lot lately. I absolutely love BetterHelp's online therapy. I've been doing therapy with them online for like months now. And I have like such a close relationship with my therapist and she's like helped me through so many things that I've like not processed before. Just like my traumas and like setting boundaries with people in my life and like there's literally so many helpful skills and how to cope and manage issues in my life. I would recommend therapy to literally everyone. I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit more about BetterHelp because it is online therapy, which I do like better than like in-person therapy because you can do it from anywhere. So I was able to do it like while I was traveling and it's just like, it's so much easier. You don't have to like leave your house to go to therapy and it makes it feel more easy to like want to do it, I guess. So I have it as like an app on my phone, but you can do it like on your computer or whatever too. They connect you with a licensed therapist who is trained just to listen and give you helpful unbiased advice. First, just go to the website and you guys can use my link, which I'll have down in the description below, but it's betterhelp.com slash Yasmin. And you kind of just go through like a questionnaire and answer some questions to like give an idea on like what you want to do therapy for and like what kind of therapist you want. You can do phone call, video chat, or you can do messaging um, on the app or online as well. I prefer to do video call. For some therapists, you can also like message your therapist in between sessions too. Plus, usually you can get matched with a therapist within 48 hours. So let BetterHelp connect you with a therapist that can support you all from the comfort of your own home or wherever it is you may be. Visit betterhelp.com slash Yasmin or you can put in my name Yasmin Switzer when you sign up and get a special discount on your first month. Thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I think we're going to run into my house to grab some laundry and stuff that I need over at my new place. All the flowers out here are blooming and it's making me happy. Oh, my camera's broken. Just grabbing my laundry from here.
dropped off Anna at my grandma's and I'm bringing my laundry baskets from the back in and then I gotta run to Layla's bus stop to pick her up because my little sister, she usually walks home from the bus with her but she's got play practice today. So I'm picking up Layla just by herself and then grocery store. Okay, we're gonna deal with these later. If you guys haven't seen my last video of like the house tour and explaining the whole house situation, I just rented out this condo for a couple, for the next few months until I get my house back. And like the lease is up for like the people renting at my house. So I rented this house like in the neighborhood just so we could like have our own place. I explained more in the video, but like living with my grandma has been so great, but like we also just kind of wanted our own space and I, I just feel bad because it's a lot like us living there, like all of the kids and everything. And, you know, yeah. Anyway, I explained it all in the last video. So yeah, we've been staying in this condo now for a little bit and it's literally right in the neighborhood. Like I can walk to my grandma's house from it. So once we start actually staying there, cause we haven't been like, I haven't been staying there with all the kids yet because we've just been trying to get like moved in first. Um, so once we're like more moved in, Oh, my sister's just gonna like walk and pick up Layla to walk to the bus stop and everything in the morning. Um, so yeah, we're still like super close. What? How was school, my big kindergarten girl? What's your stick for? We we like plant outside because we have like a little garden outside of our school. When you were planting? Yeah. What'd you plant? A carrot. You planted a carrot? Yeah. Did you name the carrot? No. <laughs> it's an ask me about my special garden job. Special garden job. Are you guys gonna take care of it now? You're gonna go and water it? What's your special garden job? No, um, I think the fifth grade I got to water it. We all have different jobs. Oh, that's so fun. I have to go to the grocery store, so I'm gonna drop you off at Emma's to get an no. after school snack. No, 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 I wait. I wanna come. To the grocery store? Yeah. Are you sure? Can you wait for your snack then? Wait, yeah. Okay, go buckle up. Wait, how long is this door? I mean, I'm not gonna get all the groceries. I'm just gonna get like a small grocery haul. Get you some snacks for school. What? Whenever adults say it's not gonna take long, it's long. Like one time we went to Costco and guess how long we were in there? Okay, that's Three different. hours. That adult takes long to do everything. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Just kidding. Okay, go buckle up so we can go. Do you want to come or do you want to go back? Come. You want to come to the grocery I store? I want to go to Hawaii. Do you want to come to the grocery store? I thought you never asked. <laughs> Said I was gonna do like a small grocery shopping trip and then got $260 worth of groceries. I haven't like grocery shopped actually in a long time because I've been staying at my grandma's, so I would just like grab groceries for her. I don't know, I haven't like gotten a whole bunch of groceries for my own house in like a while, so that was fun. But we're gonna unpack everything and then do a haul. I freeze her stuff first because I needs to go away. Um, I just got a couple of things for them to have for breakfast. I got them just like frozen waffles. And frozen, they like these French toast sticks because my grandma always gets them, so. Oh yeah, Layla loves these frozen frozen fish sticks too, and my grandma also always has these, so I got those. Frozen nuggets. Venice saw these and wanted to get them, and I've like never gotten them before, but they're these frozen like pretzel dolls. I just had to get some like ranch and ketchup, and then mayonnaise, because like we don't have anything here at all, so. Shredded cheeses, of course. And then Swiss and provolone are my favorite like sliced cheeses, so got those for like sandwiches or whatever. Um, string cheese, and American cheese, and baby bells. Almond milk, pickles of course. I got dill pickles and bread and butter pickles. Oranges, bananas, grapes, breakfast sausage, turkey, meat for sandwiches. Cream cheese, I like the whipped cream cheese. Some yogurt. And then I got mini bagels. <laughs> To go with the cream cheese. Pepperoni. <laughs> Layla's being silly. And I got a lot of like snacks for Layla for school. And just like little snacky things for the kids to have. King's Hawaiian rolls, love these. Tortillas, pirate foodies, like fruit snacks. 
I got this whole pack of like multi pack of little cookie snacks, Rice Krispie treats, individually wrapped Pringles, tortilla chips because me and Layla love making nachos. Right, Layla? Okay. Little mac and cheeses, popcorn, little muffins. Oh yeah, more like little snack things for Layla to bring to school, like the little peanut butter crackers, more little food snacks. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, and just getting little rice snacks. No, oh, and pancake mix and chocolate chips to make chocolate chip pancakes. I had to grab diapers for Millie. Got the little cheddar whales. I like them. these better than goldfish. Now I'm going to figure out where to store stuff because I don't really have a pantry. So we're just going to have to use the cabinets, but we'll see. I just had to go pick up my little sister from her play practice. And now it is kind of late to do my revolve haul because it's like the sun's about to go down. But I think I'm about to go to sunset instead. And then go back and stay at my grandma's. Like I was saying, like I still want to get like a little bit more set up here before we like actually are staying here. So I'm going to go do that. Bring you guys along for sunset. So then we'll pick up tomorrow with the revolve haul because i am so excited to show you guys that they have a whole bunch of new pieces in their like collection that i get stuff from so I'm still very sick. I'm sure you can hear. So I scheduled a appointment at the walk-in this afternoon. So luckily my grandma has still had my kids for me since I've been like so sick. I really hope we can figure out what is wrong with me. I hope it's nothing serious and I just have like, I don't know, strep or something. So since spring and summer are coming up, I wanted to do a quick clothing haul of some like fine spring summer-ish pieces that I recently got and I'll have them all linked down below. At first is these jeans which we have to stand on the bed to show. They have like the dark denim and then the light denim and I am obsessed with them. They fit so nicely. They're very like I feel like 70s with like the I don't know the style and like the color blocking. Um, and then I got a whole bunch of basics like tops. Um, this one I really like and I got it in red as well. And it's like almost like the fabric feels like cool when you put it on. I don't know why or how to explain it. But um, yeah, I feel like it's, these are also really like flattering and just like nice basics. Also love, especially when I'm like dinner. Next, I got this little like high front top. And I feel like I need to tighten the straps in the back a little bit. And then like be able to tie it more close together. But... I thought it was a really cute, like, kind of vintage looking pattern. And then I have this little white, like, lace top, which is a little bit less, like, my style, I feel like. But I thought it could be kind of cute. I had to move this because the lighting was not working. But, oh my god, my voice. I got two pairs of pink cargo pants. I don't know why I, like, felt like I needed two pairs. I guess I just wanted to try, like, two different kinds because I really wanted, like, pink cargo pants. This is the other pair. I can't decide which one I like better. They just like sit kind of differently. This was a little thicker. The other ones were more like thin, like windbreaker material. I don't know, they're both cool. It could be fun now that I have two if I ever want to like match with a friend or something. Um, okay, and then I have one more pair of jeans, which is really cool. A skirt and then dresses. And bathing suits and shoes. Like these jeans I'm obsessed with because I'm always thinking like how can there be like a new style of jeans? Like I feel like we've gone through like every style and maybe you guys have seen this before, but they have a cut on the side. I like that is so cute because it's kind of cut where like shorts will be cut, but they're still like full length jeans. And then they also have like the rip on the knee, but I don't know, I thought it was so cool. Like I remember people used to do cut like under the butt, which was kind of cute, but yeah, I kind of love them. Next, I got this red little mini skirt, which I have a very similar one in white. But I love mini skirts because like the length of skirt that I like is just never like safe enough to wear without something under. And yeah, these have like shorts in the back and then it's like skirt in the front. I wouldn't wear it with this top at all. I feel like this is a very weird color combination, but I also got this gray baby tee. Okay, now dresses. Um, I have this white mini dress that's like strapless it's this little like this little cut here i don't know what it is but 
Very cute. I just had to switch cameras because my other camera died. So that's why I might look different now. But next I got this little blue, little like ruffly dress. Very like not my style, but I thought it could be cute to try. Um, also maybe like an Easter thing. I don't know. I, it feels very princessy. I don't really like love the sleeves, but it's kind of different and cute. Okay, I got a couple cute little like silky, all blue of course, dresses. Um, this is the first one. I love that it has this like halter neck tie. Kind of adorable. This one's like kind of a similar color. Um, and I don't know, it's very like nightgown-ish. It's this like blue lacy number. Wow, very cute. I don't know like, yeah, where, where this other than to sleep by myself. Very cute. This one's a little bit more of like a teal. I love that the straps like connect to this little tie in the front so you can adjust it. Yeah, I love all clothes that have like adjustable parts because it just makes it so much more customizable for your body. Okay, last silky blue dress and then on to the bathing suits, but I am obsessed with this color. This is probably my favorite one. If I always wanted this prom dress that was like the same like silk and like same color. And it's like, got this open back. Like, I love it. And now I need an excuse to like dress up somewhere because this is just like so cute. I kind of have to figure out adjusting the top and the back because it's like a little awkward here. Okay, sorry, the setup of all of this was so weird because I'm still kind of trying to figure out where in this house I want to like film things. But I just got two one pieces and then two bikini sets. First I have this like bright coral color, which I, was a color I probably like, loved as a kid. Like, I don't know, I used to love like the neons and like the justice era, but so obsessed. I love like it, it's got like a halter string tie, so cute. Okay, next I have this like bright purple one, which also is like a color I don't really have a lot of, but it's like super high on the legs, like or on like the hips, it's super low. So I don't know where I'd wear this. I honestly would probably wear it as like a bodysuit more than to like the beach. And then the back is like open too, which I love, but yeah, it's a little bit much I feel like for me. Next, I got this um, like little cheetah print bikini because I feel like I don't really have like an actual cheetah print bikini and I feel like it's kind of like a staple bikini pattern or color for anyone's bikini collection. But yeah, I like the style of it, just like the classic string like tie on the sides. Lastly, I got this pink like same style, just like tie on the sides, tie in the front and back, but it's got this pink like hibiscus flower pattern. That is all for this Revolve haul.